Hi boys and girls, welcome back to Penny's Reading Nook. Today I have a book that is part of the Dolly Parton Imagination Library and it is called King Jack and the Dragon. So if you have this book at your house, run and get it real quick and I'll wait on you and when you're ready we'll start this book together. This is King Jack and the Dragon. It was written by Peter Bentley and it was illustrated by Helen Oxenberry. Let's find out about King Jack. Jack, Zack, and Casper were making a den, a mighty great fort for King Jack and his men. A big cardboard box, an old sheet and some sticks, a couple of bin bags, a few broken bricks. A fine royal throne from a ragged old quilt, a drawbridge, a flag, and the castle was built. Prepare to do battle, brave knights, cried King Jack. Protect your king's castle from dragon attack. They spent the whole day fighting dragons and beasts. Rawr! And return to their stronghold for fabulous feasts. We'll all sleep the night in the fort, said King Jack. Then a giant came by and went home with Sir Zack. Two can fight dragons, no problem, Jack said. Then another giant came and took Casper to bed. Wrapped up in his blanket, Jack sat on his throne. All right then, he said, I'll fight dragons alone. Then a strong gust of wind made the trees start to quiver. Mm, it's nothing, thought Jack, with a hint of a shiver. A mouse scampered over the roof, skitter scurry. Mm, it's nothing, thought Jack. There's no need to worry. Burp croaked a frog. It's nothing, thought Jack, as he switched on his torch in the deepening black. Hoo, hoo, called an owl. It's nothing, Jack said, as he pulled up his blanket right over his head. Then, suddenly, brave King Jack's heart skipped a beat. He could hear something coming, a thing with four feet. It was outside the drawbridge. King Jack gave a yelp. A dragon, a dragon! Mom! Dad! Help! He wished he was anything else but a king as the drawbridge fell open and there stood the thing. We're sorry, smiled Mom, if we gave you a fright. But it's time for brave kings to come in for the night. And kings who fought dragons all day need a bath, said Dad, as he lifted King Jack off of the path. I knew you weren't really a dragon, yawned Jack, as he bravely rode home on a big giant's back. And there's King Jack sound asleep. And that was King Jack and the Dragon. I hope you enjoyed that book, and I will see you next time, boys and girls.